No dairy, no sweets. Only ripe vegetables, fresh fruit, and whole wheat. I'm from the old school. My household smell like soul food, bruh. Curry falafel, barbecue tofu. What up, everybody? Mr. Hip Hop Vegan coming with another video. And this video today is going to be about five things I hate about the gym. Five things. And um, no specific order. Um, just something that came up to my mind that I really don't like about the gym. And I'm not a gym master, but I, you know, I'm just letting you know what I hate about the gym. One, what I hate about the gym is when you're working out and people come talk to you. Um, I don't go to the gym to socialize. I don't go to the gym to, to have conversations about stuff. And, and that just gets on my nerves, you know. Um, uh, it's not about having um, uh, this ego or, or trying, trying to be an asshole. It's just I'm there for a reason and I, I just want to work out and go home and leave. Um, and when you come talk to me, I mean, it's, it's cool and everything, but don't come talk to me for more than two minutes, you know, because I'm, I'm there to work out. Okay, number two is when people drive to the gym just to do cardio and go home. Um, that's none of my business. But um, I see a lot of times at the gym I go to, um, I, a couple of times I see a dude just go in there 15 minutes, drive back in his car and go home. Uh, which to me is kind of retarded. <laughs> um, I don't know what they're doing with their life and, and, and their lifestyle. But um, going to the gym just to do cardio for like 15, 20 minutes and go home, uh, to me is counterproductive. I mean, you, you can go do something better. You could, you could have walked around your your area where you live after 15 minutes and, and, and would have been good, you know? So, um, that's, that's, that's one of them. That's, that's num number two. <laughs> number three, people who are out of shape giving you workout advice and food eating advice. I don't go giving people advice. I'm, I'm not that type of person or I'm not the type of person to sit there and tell you how to do the proper or, or the proper way to do the exercise. Um, I, when people do that and they're out of shape, that's like oxymoronic in my opinion. Um, just you shouldn't be going to the, you should be going to the gym to, to, to work on yourself. And now if somebody comes up to you and asks what's the proper way and, and, and they want to know the proper way of doing something, then boom, answer the question. But if you're going around just going to everybody, you should do it this way or you should do it that way or blah, 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 blah. That's, that's, that's counterproductive also. I mean, that's none of your business what they do. Um, the only way you should help them if they want to come ask you for your opinion. And, um, and, um, I mean, that's life. <laughs> don't 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 go around and do that. Number four, number four, number four, number four, number four. You ready for number four? <laughs> number four is when somebody just sitting there on the equipment and not doing anything and just sitting there texting or 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 just just using that equipment as a seat or as a bench just to sit there and do any nothing. I mean, you go to the gym to use the equipment. At least use it. Um, Good thing about the gym I go to is not too busy. I, I go to Anytime Fitness right now, you know, um, and, and, and that doesn't happen too often. But when you're in a busy gym and, and, and just to be courteous and there's other people waiting for the equipment, um, you should just be on the equipment, use it, get your sets done, and, 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 and go to the next equipment because this, you have to be unselfish and, and, and know that there's other people trying to use that piece of equipment. So. Um, I hate when people just sitting on the equipment doing anything or, or when they rest their water bottle on the equipment. Come on now, your water bottle is not meant to be sitting there in the equipment if you're not using it. You feel me? If you're using it and you, and you put your water down real quick just to get up and, and, and just walk around, you know, and shake it off, then um, um, that's you, you know? So don't do it. Don't be that guy who just sits on the equipment to talk. And number five, last but not least, is when somebody's sweating and sweating and sweating and they don't wipe off the gym equipment. Uh, that's, uh, I'm, me, I, I, I used to hate, you know, going to play basketball. You know, there's always that one person who was sweating everywhere. I used to hate playing basketball because of that reason. Um, or somebody who plays basketball with no shirt and you gotta guard them and, and, and they're sweating all over you, I, I won't even play. I Tell you the truth, it, it's not that, it just, it, it's disgusting to me. So when you're at the gym 
and and at least bring a towel and wipe off the equipment. I know the gym I go to they have wipes that you can wipe it down. Be courteous and wipe it down. Um, the gym is not there for other people to clean for you. If you're gonna be at the gym and and you're gonna use the equipment, at least clean it and 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 be and be courteous to everybody else uh, who's around. Even because I know some people who who do one minute cardio and they sweat in their ass or boom 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 and sweat is everywhere and they're not cleaning shit up. That's just disgusting to me. So guys, just just be you know aware and be courteous. If you're one of these people who's watching this video and you're one of them, change that. Don't be that 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 nasty nasty disgusting person who got sweat everywhere. So quick video. Thank you for watching my video, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan. Um, be good. Be strong. Um, each one teach three. Like I said, each one teach three. One. You was in La Marina all summer. You was up in Toxic all summer. Now it's getting chilly, that's the fall coming. Now a nigga get a call from her. What's up? How you been? How is summer? How that in? I'm like some bitch stringing me along like a vibe.